Hey, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We are heading down to my little apartment. I probably should have done that before I started recording, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's go in here to our innkeep. Yes, yes, yes. Retired to inner room. Something I figured out. I was just looking around. You know how I was asking? Like, how do I know which role I've used? Well, if you look down at the bottom right here, you can see it's orange. So I need them too. But before that, I think I used the Slumber Eternal. See, it doesn't say which ones are used here. So let's see if we can't find it. Slumber Eternal. sound like slumber. Alright, so let's look for Shatter. Next is Shatter. Where's Shatter? There's Shatter. Those are from Raids. Not bad, not bad. Grounded. Let's go ahead and use that. Not use it this time. Let's take a look at grounded. It's okay. It's alright, little beat. Which one is this? Dragon Song. I think that's a good one right there. Dragon Song. This is from others. Then we're going to wind up Monobrita. Check her out. From the minion guide, not the mount. There she is with her little hair flipped over like that. That is her. Awesome. Get out of here and get to our quest. Oh, that's the song right there. Look, listen to her sing. She's singing it up. Probably going to get a copyright claim. Then I'm going to have to dispute it like I always do. And then they're going to drop it. I don't know who you're trying to claim this stuff. So. It sure isn't Final Fantasy. Some other scam artists. But enough of that, let's get to the Asimek, Aramek, whatever your name is. An allied decision. Silver so Peace, Aramek is ready to attend the council. It seems we are to have an escort to the Lotus Stand. A pleasant place to discuss unpleasant matters, is it not? It is. Shall I show you? Yes, of course. Just like we are the last to arrive, let us announce ourselves, shall we? Okay, the honor guard will help you. I'll be there in a moment. We'll take a shortcut. I don't feel like walking. Andros. Boom. Here we go. Let's go see what it's all about. The envoy from Ishgard is right. Very good. This way, if you put it up. And the Lamosian party as well.
Oh, we are not the last. Right. I had hoped to slip in unnoticed, but I see I was not the only one delayed in my arrival. Greetings, sir, Aramek. Admiral, always a pleasure. The tick man, I trust you are well. It is a day for reunions, it seems. I believe you are well acquainted with my escort. As for tick man, I was glad to hear from Moya that the missing signs have now been found. There is much and more I would discuss with you, but let's first attend to the issue at hand, shall we? Aye, aye, Captain. I mean, Admiral. I bid you welcome, my friends. As you will by now be aware, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have come into possession of certain intelligence concerning recent developments in the region of Gear Abanya. It springs, I am assured, from an unimpeachable source. Is that not so, Master Alfino? Indeed, Elder Seedseer. Our information comes directly from a member of the Resistance's inner circle, and we have no cause to doubt its veracity. This griffin of theirs is a fool if he thinks he can hold Belsar's wall against the Empire. When the Imperials move to take it back, they will come in force, and the resulting fighting is all but certain to spill over into the Black Shroud. At the Battle of Cartineau, the combined might of three Grand Companies laboured to contend with the remnants of but a single Imperial Legion. Alone, Gridania would be hard-pressed indeed to hold back the tide, should the Garleans turn their minds from reclamation to invasion. May I once more convey my nation's deepest regrets for our inaction in the days prior to the Calamity. Tis a stain upon our ledger that I would fain remove. Elder Seedseer, I do hereby request leave to deploy a defensive force within the borders of Gridania. Ishgard's return to the Alliance shall be honoured by more than mere ink upon parchment. The Doman people, too, would join any effort that weakens our common foe. We are few, but our most seasoned shinobi are at your disposal. On behalf of my people, I offer you my humble thanks. Gridania welcomes your assistance. It is time we set our contingency plans in motion. Is the Alliance agreed? Then let us make ready for war. Victory favours the swift. And there is much to be done. The Council knows that Alamigo will not soon be wrested from the Empire and its decision to bolster the border's defences seems eminently practical. Why then, brother, do you scowl so? I agree that they have chosen the wisest course available, indeed the only reasonable one. Yet something feels awry. In making ready for war, is the Alliance not granting the Griffin the very thing he desired? Any attempt to hold the wall is doomed to failure, aye. But I wonder if we have misjudged the prize for which he plays.
Very interesting. What prize do they play for? That the council was able to reach an accord so swiftly is a heartening development in itself. I only hope my misgivings. Something, something, something. Ah, good, you have yet to depart. I feared I had missed you. Sir Akamek. Master Abdel, a pleasure as always. And Mistress Alize, how wonderful to see you thus recovered. Pardon their interruption. I had hoped to thank Tickman for serving as our escort before other duties called him away. I also wish to thank our domain ally. Give me, my lord. I was but awaiting an opportune moment to join the conversation. And force of habit made me keep to the shadows. No apologies are necessary, Mr. Shuji. I was most grateful for your interjection when I offered Ishkin Guard support. My nation's historic failure to heed the Alliance's pleas for aid is a matter of record. Even so, the Alliance leaders were plainly unprepared for my impromptu apology. The resulting air of awkwardness might have lingered longer were it not for your timely offer of cooperation which allowed the Elder Cecil to accept us both. I very much appreciate the gesture. I only did my duty, Sir Akimak. The Empire is an enemy to us all, and we are grateful for the opportunity to fight at your side. We're glad we are to have you. Pray convey my regards to the silence, my friends. We must return to Ishkar. Whatever is wrong with a simple sorry or thank you. Must these politicians always make a speech out of their thing? That is how we adults speak, dear sister. Ooh, jab right to the jaw. Huh, they have the ones who would like the sound of their own voice in any case. Our business here is concluded. We should be on our way as well. Will you accompany us to Reverence Toll, Yuri? Actually, I think I shall first pay a brief visit to the East Shroud. I'm curious to know how Pepimayo and Yada fared with their talks with the Sifs. Not to mention what's been going on at the Bell Source Wall. I will join you at the Rising Stones and now. So let's go back to Reverence Toll. Let's finish up this quest. So we got reinforcements moving in, which is good, good. Hopefully it's enough. I'd hate for all the forces to get diminished. I might have to go in there and play a smackdown. Here deep. Even now, I'm astonished by how closely Mistress Elise remembers Master Alfred. Their very mannerisms are alike. From a distance, I should be hard pressed to tell one from the other. Until they open their mouths, of course. Welcome back, Tickman. I don't know about you, but I'm partly glad that all of the talking is over. I understand that these council meetings are important, but do you not find it tiresome to have? to weigh every word before you speak it. I doubt I'll ever feel at home in the realm of politics. Eh, that's it, people have been known to change. If my brother is willing to run his own errands, anything is possible. And an ally decision is complete, so we're not gonna take no food. See, you got some good stuff up here, but I want that coin. And the quest is complete. So thanks for joining me. Come on back tomorrow. Let me get my dragon back out. There we go. Get rid of her. And boom. 
Tomorrow, we'll be back with the next Mystery Quest.